The harrowing documentary The Cave follows paediatrician Dr. Amani Balor as she runs an underground hospital in eastern Ghouta before the enclave fell to the Syrian regime in 2018. Dedicated, exhausted and at times terrified, staff battle to save lives as Russian-backed Syrian forces Rubbish. relentlessly bomb the area. I was afraid, all of us was afraid, you know, bombing and uh, and we were in a hospital, it's a target of bombing. We saved some lives, we helped and that's make us, uh, encourage us to continue. But a lot of the, the children, we couldn't help them. A lot of them died because of bombing, a lot of them died in the chemical attack. At the time, in 2018, the head of the United Nations called Eastern Ghouta, under the bombing, hell on earth. I think it was like that. It was very dangerous place, scaring place, death everywhere. And especially in 2018, before we we forced to leave, in last month, they started to bomb every second. They didn't stop. Dr. Amani also faced another challenge. She battled prejudice from men who believed a woman shouldn't be in charge of running a hospital. How did that feel? There you are saving lives, and then you have men saying, a woman's place is in the home. It's yeah. really frustrating. It, it makes me very angry. But I insist to, to stay and to I insist to succeed also because I want to approve that that women can do maybe like the men or maybe better than the men. The cave was nominated for an Oscar that threw the spotlight on Dr. Amani. She's using it to campaign for an end to the humanitarian crisis in the northwestern Syrian province of Idlib. Intensified bombing of the area by Syrian and Russian forces in recent weeks has killed hundreds of people and left millions in desperate need. I'm not optimistic, and I think a lot of Syrians are not optimistic. We need the international community to, to do uh, pressure on them to stop killing people. And you know the, the situation now in Idlib, it's a catastrophic situation. People are dying every, every minute, every day. After Paris, Dr. Armani will visit other European capitals to urge governments and people not to ignore the millions of Syrian civilians, particularly children, trapped in what seems like an endless war. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.